gonna go ahead and give this a taste. What's up you guys, welcome back to another video and today, first of all I just want to say I apologize for not posting a video yesterday, I was not able to, so that's why I'm posting one today on Wednesday. But anyways, so I was walking down to my pond just a few minutes ago guys and I don't know, but about a week ago or so is I think when I set this line out. I remember coming back and looking at it like several different times and there being like nothing on it and I just being like just leaving it there in the water not even knowing if there was any bait still left on the hook. I haven't even been down to my pond for like the past week or so because I've been sick of course but uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit better now so anyways um it, it the line looked tight like there was a catfish on there so I reeled it up and well there was there's the catfish on there. We already got it off now so what I decided to do is that I remember saying in either my last video or, yeah, I think it was my last video, actually, about the catfish catching hook step-by-step -step video. That's what we're going to do with that catfish. Now, guys, I feel like a freaking animal abuser because, like, that catfish has probably been on this line for, like, a week now. He's probably been starving for, like, a whole week now. That's probably why he's, like, so skinny. So, uh, yeah. But, guys, I don't know if you guys can tell right now. You probably cannot, but it's kind of sprinkling rain right now. And I think it may start to pick up in here in just a second. So, I'm going to hold off on just, like, doing it just yet. I'm going to go look at the radar, see if there's any nearby, like, rain, or see how long I can do it without there being any rain. And then we'll go from there. But right now, let me go and talk about a few other things. So, guys, I'm now officially on my uh, Christmas break now. So, I have, like, two and a half weeks or so to film or so. So, that, that's good. I remember saying um, when A.A. Ron was in one of my videos, we did, like, two videos together. And he was he was in two of them, I remember. And we did one, like, like just focusing on him. And I remember saying we would get him on the catfish the next time he came back. He was supposed to come back on Christmas break. Well, guys, unfortunately, A. A. Ron is moving back to Canada. Now, guys, when he first told me, see, he's wanting to joke a lot. So I was not sure if he was, like, being for real and all about it. But I think he is. I mean, he could still be jo joking, but I really think he is being for real this time. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. So we probably will not be seeing A. A. Ron, unfortunately. But we do have someone new coming. Now, this person has been fishing since... 10 years like he, he he fishes quite often so i mean we you know he he just wants to come over wants to be in a few videos or so and i was like hey why not so hopefully we'll be seeing him sometime on christmas break as well he'll be in at least two videos or so and well we'll, we'll see that then so about the tank here's the tank right here guys everything just doing just fine everything's filtering out really well so the tank looking real good the power head moving a lot of bit of water in the morning time it always fogs up like this so you just Kind of do that, and that way you can like see into the tank better. So the next video on it, of course, will be putting the driftwood. I don't, you know, actually now that I think about it, I still have not really like gotten to like soak this driftwood how I wanted to. But what we may do is actually make a video on just putting like the sand and the heater and like something else in the tank, right? The sand, heater, and big rocks into the tank, and then in another video when I had the driftwood just right to go into the tank, we will put that in there, and then also in the same video of that. We may do uh, also installing the hood and the light if we're able to get that in time. But I will be getting a hood and light, just not like, like it's not like real mandatory. But I will be getting the sand and the rocks and uh, the heater pretty soon. That should all be in the next video about the tank. As far as the pond goes and everything, uh, like I said, I will be making just one big whole video about installing the gravel and the big rocks and the heater in it. Not sure if a tank video or a pond video will come first, but one of those will come this weekend. And also, guys, I will be putting another another fish picture at the end of this video for you guys to guess if you are correct about it you're the first one to guess what that fish is correctly you will get a shout out in the next video yeah so i just finished looking at the radar and it does look like i do have enough time to go ahead and clean this catfish and then we can do all the other stuff inside so let's go ahead and hurry up and clean this catfish before it starts running even heavier you guys so here is our catfish right here so i did kill him off of camera but basically an easy way to kill catfish is they can be like very very difficult to kill is you can take like a nail and a hammer and then just like beat uh, the nail right through their head and then take it out and then balk them a few times on top of the head. I know it sounds very violent, but like it's, it, it works and it's real simple. And a um, long process of doing it would be like cutting their gills and letting them bleed out, but that would take forever. So uh, that's just an easier way to do it. So now let's get to cleaning them. Normally I would need a pair of pliers for this as well. And like I was going to get them, but... I could not find them. I literally searched for like 20 minutes looking for my dang pliers, but it's all right. So basically what you're going to do first is just kind of go in above the dorsal fin here. Let me bring them a little bit closer. You go up right there, just above the dorsal on the side, and then make it a little incision. 
and then start kind of cutting along that line. It has started to rain pretty heavy, uh, so what I did, I put the umbrella right on top of us, so that way, right above us, yeah. That way the, we can shield the rain. So back to what I was doing. So I'm just for today, since I don't have any flowers, just gonna cut along that line right there, just like that. And get some good meat off of that catfish, this catfish. And bam, just like that. Keep going, don't cut yourself. Of course, this is not a fillet knife either, so it's not gonna work as good, but bam, just like that. There is our meat. And then just like that. Bam. And then just start cutting the meat off the skin. Of course, you don't scale catfish because they don't have scales. And then bam, there you go guys. There is a catfish fillet right there. Probably could have gotten a little bit more meat, but bam, there it is. Uh, so we're back in the kitchen now, and the first thing you want to do with your big catfish fillet is you're going to chop it up into small pieces like that. Bam. You see that? Bam. Bam. All right, and then you're going to go to the sink, and you're going to wash it off really good. And then what you're going to do is you have your cornmeal and flour mix right there. Oh, gosh. All right, so, and then you just start, and you start throwing your pieces in there. Bam, 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 just like that. Swirl them around in there, give them a nice good mixing. Uh, then, that's pretty much it. Guys, then the next thing you have to do is you go and you turn on your pot. You guys can see right there, it's not, it's not actually purple, like the light is actually red. It's just picking up purple on camera, but there is your pot right there with your oil, your choice of oil. You can use olive oil, corn oil, uh, canola oil. Uh, vegetable oil, peanut oil, any kind of frying oil. So you let it get bubbling. All right, so I just turned it on right now. So of course it's not gonna be bubbling right now. And then once it starts bubbling, then you start dropping your pieces in there. Be sure to drop them really close to it, but not like super close because you're gonna burn yourself. But like don't drop them like really, really high because then you're gonna burn yourself as well. As well, yeah, as well. So just be careful about like dropping your pieces into there. So I will see you guys when these bad boys are all fried up. All right, you guys, so we have our bluegill. Actually, we have our catfish right here because I'm an idiot and I'm also an idiot because I wasn't paying attention I'll freaking let it burn like look at that. I made you can see the white meat right there Bam. so I got a little bit of ketchup right here on the side. Oh gosh, don't fall off and uh, Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste It's just like it's like really hot, you know, but Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this bluegill right here. Oh, don't stop saying bluegill. It's catfish. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to finish up that catfish. And, well, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put the new fish picture right here. So yeah guys, like always, if you know what that fish is, comment down below in the comments. You will get a shout out in the next video if you're correct about it, and if you're the first one to comment on it correct. And also guys, a new Bamboo will highlight video drops tomorrow, and also I've had a few people ask me to show me, to show my team, so I will be doing that as well. And then also talking about a few things going on in Mad Mobile right now. Hey, you can see the fish in the background. Hey, what's up, fish? Hey! You know, what's up? What's up? I don't know better lighting yet, and it's still kind of raining, but anyway. And also, guys, a tank video setting up the tank part two this weekend where I put in the sand and the rocks and a few other things. Now, I don't think that video is just going to be that. There could be other things in that video as well, so don't miss out on that video as well. And I hope I inspired you guys to go out and catch yourself some bluegill or a catfish. Go and clean it and cook it and eat it and... Well, you just gotta do it. So with that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you have not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Huh.